Okay, this is Robert Forsch with the YouTube channel Truth. I'm showing you the uh, sunset here in Myrtle Beach area. This is North Myrtle Beach. This is just a short distance away, uh, about uh, 100 yards from where I did the live broadcast this morning at the sunrise. Uh, this is the Mar Vista, as I've been uh, in front of. I needed to uh, move over a little bit. We can see the, the moon high in the sky, and I'm going to zoom in on that. It's, uh, it's local. The sun and the moon are, are local and small. They move above the stationary Earth. I'm going to pan on over. and I've got a P-1000 recording I'm working with as well. You can obviously see the sun is setting. I wanted to be close to the location where I was this morning so you can get an idea of how this works. Um, at different times of the year, I've seen the uh, moon come up over here, uh, and I've seen the uh, moon come up over here, as well as the sun come up over here. We can see today it's uh, way on over. It's a 94% moon right now. So I'm going to zoom in a bit tighter. What I wanted to say is where the sun and the moon appear and vanish on the horizon, and their duration of visibility between one another varies considerably, proving conclusively to me that without a doubt we're living on a stationary plane that's mostly flat. The continents rise up out of the water, uh, so mountains aren't flat. Um, we can see the, the light from the sun hitting the buildings. This is uh, a couple miles from where I captured the sun appearing in the clouds. It's called The Local Sun by Infinite Earth. It's a video that I shot, and it's um, you can hashtag local sun, and you'll see some amazing occurrences of the sun in the midst of the cloud clouds. Uh, this is a sea of humanity that comes out here next to the ocean in the Myrtle Beach area. We're expecting about 20 million guests here this year. So the footage I'm capturing with the P-1000 is spectacular. There is um, a lot of water that moves with the tide. Uh, the tidal activity was in my earlier video today. Because I'm using my iPhone 10 for the live broadcast that I'm doing uh, concurrently with the P-1000, just jumped in front of the camera for a little bit. I'm on the motorcycle tonight. I'll be out on uh, Main Street blowing bubbles and talking to people, and it's going to be awesome. Now, now with the color contrast, I can see the uh, moon a bit better. So today, on my earlier broadcast, we could see the sun coming up over here. Okay. And actually, you'll have to go a couple days earlier because uh, today I, I showed us driving in. To, to give you a, a way of taking a look at this and seeing how it is right here. Now, I can't confirm the accuracy of the tides near me application everywhere in the world. I can confirm the tidal activity here as well as the percentage of the moon and when and where it appears and vanishes, it, it's very accurate here. So what I'll, what I'll do here now too, I'll show you my um, contact information once again. You can uh, reach out anytime you like. My phone number is 1-843-504-1776. And of course there's my if you hashtag my name, it'll send a powerful message to the to the artificial intelligence and the sensors at um, at Google slash YouTube. Got some aerodynamics of the uh, pelicans there. Pretty awesome, awesome birds. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I believe. Um,
I'd like to be able to jump in uh, in a location where I can see the sun, but I'd have to go up, and I'm going to lose my broadcast. That's the that's the problem with that. I'm going to zoom in again on the moon. When I get home later tonight, I'll go ahead and merge this content together so you can look at it. Care to? I cover a lot of topics on my channel Truth, YouTube Truth. The channel name itself is just Truth. I cover um, artificial intelligence and how it's uh, basically shaping the way that most of humanity sees the world that we live in. And it's very distorted and deceptive. So I'm interjecting the reality into the situation here. This is Robert Forsh. Thank you so much.